Brian Kelly did not have to look far for a new defensive coordinator. Former Notre Dame linebacker and Purdue and Minnesota defensive coordinator Greg Hudson joined the staff this season as a defensive analyst. Coach Kelly promoted him to defensive coordinator on Sunday. Greg will assume the responsibilities um, of the defensive coordinator and his experience uh, um, makes him well qualified. Uh, he's a Notre Dame grad as well and he, you know he's got that um, you know background but he also has that understanding by seeing what I see as well and, and that is a, a defense that needs to have some fun and play with enthusiasm. So being around seeing it, uh, somebody that um, has been there day after day and watching this defense um, I think was the right choice because um, now it allows all of the position coaches to stay with their group, maintain a continuity, and now you bring somebody in who's got defensive coordinator experience and can provide um, the kind of leadership that we need. But also as the head coach, you're not just saying, okay, Greg, go fix it. You're going to be very involved in the defense as well. I have to because we're going to make some changes, as I mentioned. Uh, you know, changes uh, occur when you're one and three at Notre Dame. And we started with our personnel changes uh, in the coaching staff, but there'll be some changes on defense as well, and uh, there'll be improvements. I think when we say change, we're talking about improvements and uh, I'm going to have to be uh, intimately involved uh, and be there for our defensive coaches as we make this transition defensively. And that change will not just necessarily be personnel, but to a certain degree schematic. Well, I, th I think the scheme itself has been fundamentally sound. It's been maybe an overload of, of information that we want to kind of streamline a little bit. There's only so much time. <laughs> There's a 20-hour rule. You can't get to everything. and maybe. Maybe there was a lot of information that our guys were storing up and we couldn't play as free. We have guys on our defense that want to do it. They played hard, but they didn't play with that kind of um, reckless abandon that defensive players have to play because they know where to be, they know how to get there. And we got to get that back. And we will get that back. And um, I think we've got the right people, the right coaches, they're going to teach it. And um, I'm excited about moving forward with that. Here's the snap, option run. Kaiser keeps, goes inside, steps into the end zone, standing up. His fifth running touchdown, and the Irish go the distance on the opening drive and take a 6 0 lead. When you go back, I mean, you got the start you wanted, and it was terrific. You took control of the game, first drive, two pass plays to St. Brown, 43 yards, and then Kaiser with a beautiful touchdown. Yeah, we're up 14 0 and, and uh, feeling pretty good about ourselves, but. Again, we seem to stumble at the most inopportune times, and we've already talked about this. I mean, we stumble on special teams twice now uh, in back-to-back -back games and, and essentially give the opposing team the momentum necessary to get back in the game. Bring the pressure from the edge, and Kaiser's going deep. Got Stefferson, touchdown, Notre Dame! TD for KJ, Kevin Stefferson. And again, after the Stefferson touchdown, the 44-yard pass, the whole, the whole stadium, it's like, hoorah, yeah. this is a blowout. Do you feel that on the sidelines when they bring it back 96 yards? Does the team start going, oh, no, we just, same old, same old, or what's going to happen now? Are we lost it? No, I, I, you know, I didn't feel that way. But, you know, clearly it, it was frustrating, I think, mostly. I think frustration of hey, we worked hard to get this lead and we just gave it back like that. So I think more frustration uh, than here we go again. But, you know, it is what it is too. And that is, here we go again, because we did it two weeks in a row. And you've got a quarterback who's playing great football, but one of the key mistakes, and it even surprised me, he rushes a shotgun snap. He moves before the ball gets there, and that was a key play. It's a huge play. They go and score in the very next play off a very sloppy uh, fumble and again we keep talking about our defense and the changes that we made on defense but our offense cannot do the things that it does now we're averaging 37 points a game 455 yards a game but listen it should be better it should be better than that and I've challenged our offensive coaches that they've got to coach better and you know everybody's on a job interview for the next eight weeks I agree completely that your guys are looking like they were going to the factory to work but there was one play in the game where they celebrated like they'd won the Super Bowl and it was Niles Morgan's sack. That's the first sack we've had. They got excited about that. 
And they also got excited about Dante Vaughn, his big interception, where we had that genuine feeling that that's how you play this game. And, and we have to get more of that. And I think if we get more of that, we're going to get the kind of defensive play to the level that we need. Tough decision, I think, unanimously, I was going to say, yeah, it's something that they had to do, but it's not a magic wand. You can't fix everything necessarily in a week, but what can you do this week to change the defense that takes the field against Syracuse? Play fast, um, play for Notre Dame, um, play with energy and enthusiasm and, and have fun playing the game. And, and I think that that, uh, that will be the first step that we want to take and um, have that energy uh, have that passion, have that grit, that determination that defenses need to have as a foundation, and then we'll build on it from there.